Giles, Thomas for MuscularDevelopment.com here at the 2020 Arnold Classic. Meet and greet my first interview of the night, Johnny Jackson. Hello. He's back. Now, Johnny, before we start, I told you I was going to give you a random fact. Yes. This is your first contest since the end of 2017. I'm assuming this is your first interview. Right, absolutely. Okay. Now, the last interview at the last show you did was the Arnold Europe in 2017, right. which myself and my, the partner I was with at the time. So that was your last interview, and this is your first one, and it's with me. It is. Absolutely, it is. Sorry, I just had to throw that in there. Sorry. <laughs> it's pretty awesome how everything comes back around circle, right? right yeah. Hey. And I interviewed you at the, obviously, the 2017 uh, Olympia. Now, you told us in that interview at the Arnold Europe, you said, that's it, I'm retiring. Yes. Uh, I'm not doing any more shows. What brought you back? Um, you know, when I told you that, I, I was honest in my answer. I was totally done. Uh, you know, in my heart, in my head, um, I was finished. Um, but, um, you know, it, it's been two years. Um, I still train here and there. Two and a half. Uh, yeah, two and a half. I still train here and there. Um, I think the biggest deal was the beginning of the year I signed back on with gas. Um, once I'd done that and we tried to right the ship again, you know, uh, on the video side of it, on the on the social media side of it, because it was falling off a bit. Um, so, you know, I decided to get back, get on that horse and help them, you know, to, you know, get that straightened out. And in doing that and getting in shape and, you know, um, again, Branch was added in because, uh, of course, he's with Gasp also. So we started training together again <laughs> wow uh, and then michael the owner uh johansson he um he um started the uh the tour the iron the gas iron world tour over in china so we went over in china for 10 days and we did that and we had to represent we had to show them how we did it in texas me and branch okay. you know what i mean yep. and uh, so on to that in a bit later as well yeah so we went there and we surely did that and then doing that we just got back in the groove and got back to texas and it continued on and it was like i couldn't answer why not that's good now the thing is when some pros retire they almost completely stopped training. You've always been, I mean, you've, your love of powerlifting and bodybuilding have always gone hand in hand. And I've seen pictures of you, you've never stopped training. Because I remember you said after, I think I saw it at the Olympia, uh, we were walking around at the Olympia last year, mm -hmm. and you, you, you'd never lost any size. And you said, thing is, I just, I love to train. I'll always, always yeah. train. So, so you stayed in really good shape. So was it that hard to get in shape for this? Um, to be honest, no, I, unbelievable. Plus the rest, the two years of, two and a half years of rest that I've received did wonders for my body uh, and my mind. Um, so, you know, not to say, you know, of course this is hard. You know, getting ready for any bodybuilding show, amateur or pro, is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. But I have to say, um, it wasn't so hard to get back into shape. Okay. You know, it is hard to never, get... Was it more a case of putting size back on or getting sharper? No, it was just what I, what I brought, to, brought to the game in the beginning was more conditioning, balance and condition, you know? So that's what I got to move on. Um, and that's one of the things that affected me in my head was uh, these guys been after it, hard after it for the last two and a half years. I've been, you know, out of the game. These guys have been actively competing. Yeah, but then you've had a rest? Well, yeah, definitely had a rest. But, you know, still, if you don't use it, you lose it. And I haven't been on stage you know, all that time these guys have, and they've been actively focused on getting better for the stage. You know, so it's a little bit different than staying and just that, being that, in the gym, staying looking good in the gym, because you know gym champs. Yeah, we have a whole lot of gym champs walking around on this planet. We don't, we don't have a whole lot of champs on stage though, you know, and that's the difference, you know? Um, so I worry about that somewhat, but um, then, you know, I had to put that aside and, and uh, do what I do. And, you know, everything felt right and fell in the groove and I had Branch to back me up. So what better backup can you have than him and cheering you on? So uh, here, here we are. I've got two personal memories of you, Johnny. 2002 Olympia, I was at the Expo and I saw this guy getting on a table posing. I think you were with Metrex at the time. And I remember you posing, I was like, who's this guy? And you were a new pro at the time. They did the worst thing in their life, Metrex. Have me get on stage because Muscle Tech, all the, all them came up to the booth and gathered around and watched me. And uh, I think it was what 
few months after that, I was signed with Muscle Tech. Oh, see, of course. Oh, so that's oh, okay. Okay, okay. Wow, that's 18 years ago now. That's I remember. Yeah, and also in 2012, I was um, I was actually over with Gasp uh, for the the Dallas show, and I went to train at um, the gym. What's it called? Destination. No, no, no. The um, oh, complete uh, Metroflex. Metroflex. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. I can't believe I just forgot yeah, that. No, just... And I was training, and then in walked you and Branch, and Perbinal was filming you. Yeah. And I just remember thinking, this is definitely one off the bu bucket list, watching Johnny and Branch train. That was, a, I mean, those, seeing that in the flesh is, is one, of my, that's one of my real highlights. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, we try uh, for sure. If uh, you guys never seen us train, you have to, um, like I say now, it, it's not a workout, it's experiences. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure. So how are you feeling for this Arnold Classic? Um, I'm feeling great, actually. Um, everything's right on it. I'm working with George Farah. He should be here um, pretty soon um, so he can check me out. I hadn't, he hadn't seen me yet. Um, so I'm filling out. We started filling out last night um, on to today. Um, so I've just been resting, putting my feet up and, you know, eating and then pose, kind of watching myself drying mm -hmm. out and right. stuff like that. So everything looks right on point and we'll see what happens for sure. Hey, Johnny, well, I'm really excited to see you again. Like I said, when we thought that that was the end of it, and then hearing you're coming back, I was so excited to hear you coming back. So, and have you got any more contests planned after the Arnold Classic for this uh, season? We'll see, you know, we have to get through this one first. Once we get through this, then we'll figure out what's going on. But I have to say, uh, you know, being back in the game, you always try to get to postseason play. You know, you haven't. Done Sorry, what do you mean? The postseason play, get to the Olympia. Oh, okay. You know, like American term, I don't understand it. It's like the NFL postseason. Okay. You know what I mean? You play. Well, because you're, yeah, you're not. From I'm, you. a, I'm a Brummel, I'm a Brit, you know. I don't even know why I said that. Dude. I should have referred to something with soccer. Or Over my head. Like that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, you guys out there that does, do do understand me, um, basically, is, you know, you have to get to the Super Bowl. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, the Mr. Olympia is the Super Bowl for us. So, you can play around and do all the other, you know, shows and stuff like that, play all the other games, do well, but it don't mean anything unless you're standing you know, and not sitting home watching, you know, your postseason play. So uh, what about Arnold Australia? Uh, no, I haven't heard anything from there, actually. I didn't put in for, for it, but I haven't heard anything, um, you know, that enticed me to, to go. So I'm just going to play it by ear. And I'd love to see you do it. Uh, yeah, if uh, I don't get, I don't hear any, yeah, if I don't hear anything, then I guess not. Okay, Johnny, it was fantastic to see you back with Johnny Jackson at the meet and greet Arnold Classic 2020. I'm Giles Thomas from muscularman.com.